Well, welcome back with what will likely be final update on Yuri. But we're not done with that, because the rain, the snow, ice, and whatnot in the New England, with the lake effect uh, influencing it, there's some snow in the Appalachians. Um, but yeah. Oh. Okay, there's more snow coming in from Yuri. Okay. This may not be final update on Yuri. Final update maybe tomorrow. Um... But that's not the only one. This is Viola. Uh, Viola. She was named, I want to say today, and does equal more snow for Texas and Houston. Maybe Houston. But yeah, Texas and Oklahoma. Places that got slammed and is dealing with rolling blackouts and honestly cannot afford any more snow. We have another system coming. <clears throat> before the big warm-up next week. Keep in mind, the warm-up is next week. Not this week, next week. Um, speaking of which, first let's go to winter weather. This is accumulation so far with Viola, uh, Viola. And then accumulations up here from Yuri. Now... We will get to temperature. Yeah. Uh, this morning it got to like negative 10, 11, something like that. So it's like, yeah, no. Nah. And actually due to the lack of wind, there's actually a heat index. Like last night, the, it was like negative 9 with a heat index of 0. So it's like, okay. <laughs> There's no wind whatsoever. But. It may seem like it's going to warm up. A little bit this week. But it plunges back down. Wednesday. Thursday. Like Thursday and Friday. It plunges again. Um, and then it warms up. Starting Friday. Into the weekend. We're looking at 40s. In my part of Kansas. Um. Over the weekend and 50s the week following, so that means places south would likely end up being warmer. Um, but 14 in Dallas and Memphis. Uh, yeah, that's not good. That's not something you guys normally see. That's legit like 50 to 60 degrees below average. Um, but yeah, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.